Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now I've recently been using the Apple Magic Mouse, but I got myself a new gaming mouse. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first look at the Rat 3 from Mad Cats. So, let's take a look. Now we're going to start off with the unboxing portion of this video. Now the packaging itself is really nice, you can see the mouse on the front there. Now down the right hand side of the box you are going to see the specs and also on the back you're going to see a little bit more information including the mouse that you've got. It's a very different colour, you can get it in white, red and also black. So taking out the actual mouse itself is very simple, you just have the outer shell which again has some really nice graphics on there of the mouse itself and then you just take the top off and you're presented with the mouse in a really Really nice soft enclosure so it's definitely going to be protected when you do get the mouse itself so what I'm just going to do I'm going to take the mouse out and just pop it over to the side just while we have a quick look at what else we get in the actual box itself now as you take out the packaging you can see here the paperwork that you're going to be getting you're going to get some stickers some advertisement for a flight simulator game that's available for PC and Xbox and also the warranty information and a very quick quick start guide there's not a lot of information in there but to be honest guys the software that you use for this mouse is very easy to get hands on i mean i've never used a gaming mouse or just in general a mouse that you can kind of program the buttons in such detail so i was a bit dubious when kind of going in with this but overall i've had a really nice experience so having a quick close-up here of the mouse it kind of reminds me of maybe a transformer in the sense that not all the parts kind of connect and there are gaps you can see the internals and things like that there's a sticker on the bottom here which we will need to remove because obviously you're going to have to get access to the laser pointer on the bottom um, but just in general guys the look and feel of the mouse is definitely very nice i mean i've got quite large hands and um, this mouse does feel really nice in terms of myself and, and my everyday use and things like that i'm actually using it to edit this video and the programmable buttons come in really handy for things like bringing up the cutting tool to snip it together some of the video and just in general the overall kind of fear of the mouse when using any of the gaming or in more kind of structured environments as Final Cut for instance, you're not really going to have any trouble. The cord itself is also fabric with a gold connector so it's definitely going to last a very long time. Now I actually got some hands on time with both the black and the red model. Um, Barry from Copper vs Glass was down visiting me and he got the black one the same time I got the red. Um, and you can see here that the black model definitely does have a more matte texture to it. Um, I'd kind of describe it maybe as like the back of the Nexus 5. Um, the black model if you've touched that it feels very similar. It does pick up some fingerprints but they do wipe away very easy. Now the glossy one again does pick up some fingerprints as well um, but in general I mean they both feel very nice it's just personal preference as to whether you want that matte finish or the more glossy plastic now having a quick look at them side by side you can see here that the mice are exactly the same there are no differences in terms of the functionality the design or anything like that the main difference really is just the color and whether you want to go for that more matte finish or the more glossy finish myself I've come from an Apple magic mouse which is very glossy so I don't have any issue at all with the red gloss and fingerprints and things do wipe off very easily. Now the mouse itself functions very nicely, you can see here Barry's just playing some Battlefield 4 and the movement of the mouse and the way that it feels in your hand is definitely very nice. Now obviously because you can change the DPI settings you can either have it super sensitive um, or you can have the sensitivity quite down very low so in terms of playing some games if you're going to be sniping and things like that it's definitely going to be coming in handy when you can change certain settings and also the buttons that you can function and change the function of those buttons is going to be really nice as well. So I mean overall guys this mouse is definitely nice i mean at the moment you can pick it up for around 30 pounds here in the uk i'll put links down in the description below if you did like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up i will be doing a full review soon and i'll catch you guys in the next one